I'm back again with another video today and don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share before we get into this. Today we are going to be going over how to properly prep lash extensions. So the first step would be to wash and cleanse the lashes. So as you can see, I'm using my foam cleanser right here and a lip applicator. I just apply the foam cleanser on top of the lash extensions and brush my lip applicator through as if it was a spoolie. And as I'm washing the lash extensions, my main focus is to get between that lash natural lash line and the base of the extensions. So any oil, dirt, debris, anything that has been caught in my client in between my client's lashes and her natural lashes can be cleaned out and I do that for about 10 seconds and final step of cleansing and washing lash extensions is to rinse them. This is the most important step. If you do not rinse off the cleanser on your lash extensions and you just leave the residue of the gel cleanser or foam cleanser that you're using, it defeats the entire purpose of washing the lash extensions. And to my ladies out there who are watching who wear lash extensions, please remember to wash your lashes. Tears, sweat, and oil break down the glue causing poor retention. Anytime after you cry, sweat, or are exposed to oil and steam, please wash your lashes. And if you don't have a cleanser on hand or you don't have access to a cleanser, at least rinse your lashes every time after you cry to help your retention and help out your artist. I typically advise my clients to wash their lashes four to six times a week. Everybody is different and some clients are more oily than other clients. Other clients have health factors that play into their retention. So it really does depend on the client specifically. But regardless to if you are washing your lashes every day or three times a week, you need to be washing your lash extensions. If you are a constant wearer of them or you are thinking about getting lash extensions and so now we are done with her lash bath and we are going to begin to fan out her lashes and dry them And we are going to begin the process of placing the under eye pads on the bottom lashes. And this is done to protect the bottom lashes from being lashed. So I begin by taking my pinky and separating the upper lid and the lower lid. And I use my opposite hand to begin to place the microphone under eye pad onto my client's bottom lashes. And as you can see, I do it here again using my middle finger i pull that bottom eyelid down separating it from the top using my opposite hand to place and stick the under eye pad notice how i did not attach get super close to the water line when placing these eye pads you want to make sure you don't get super close to the water line it'll cause irritation and can cause your client's eye to be open which will make them exposed to fumes during the lash process so I go back in for all of the little tiny itty bitty hairs that I missed with tape and I just tape those lashes and secure them down so that I can ensure that no bottom lashes are peeking through at all. So after my client is comfortable, I will then do the final step in the prep process and prime my client's lashes. I choose to apply primer before my application process just because I feel like it removes all the oils and it gives me a clean slate to begin my application. 
and I began the last application process and this was a fill I have already removed her outgrowns and I just start filling her and lashing her here is our final product for today she had a hybrid fill and we were going for more of a cat eye look and I think we look we look good we look amazing